Hello and welcome to another episode of Low Tech Health. Let ourselves translate expert knowledge. Today, let's eat this mental mushroom Monday and I'm back. And what are we talking about this week? Cliches. What kind of cliches, you ask? Well, medical cliches. Medical cliches. <laughs> Such as addiction, obesity, and specifically that icky hall addiction. It is such a taking drug. It takes so much from you that doesn't give enough back. Ooh, it takes your literal blood. When you overdrink and excessively days in, days out, your body's skin gets thinner and thinner, and the blood seeps through it, especially internally. They call them varices when they're up here, and sometimes they're related to that thinning from alcohol use, as well as the excessive vomiting that happens when you overdrink in that pressure and that issue of force on all those blood vessels. And a varice is like a, a little bubble trying to poop out of your esophagus esophagus Ugh. it can be so bad with some people that they puke blood and have to have a tube inflated on those places if that is the best they can do they can't do what they normally would do which is keep them from eating or drinking with this internal bleeding no adding to your GI peristalsis and go in with a tube and a light, a little flashlight, and use burns, the, the use fire to cauterize and to coil or to put a little rubber band around these exposed blood vessels that can burst and bleed and continue to suck the lifeblood out of you. This is where I'm going to. It does not give enough back from what it takes, that lifeblood from you to the point that you just exsanguinate. Mm, and obesity, it's the other way around. You can't get blood into your blood vessels. All the blood is just secondary to the fat. secondary to the fat. So what happens is you can't get enough exchange of the air. Normally, 21% is enough for anyone, for everyone, to get 100% oxygenation of their tissues. We can do it. We're efficient. We have an oxygen hemoglobin dissociation in which about 70% mm, of the oxygen is exchanged for 30% of the carbon dioxide, 70 to 30% of the time. And that can't happen with big people because their organs don't come first. The asshole comes first, which means you have to feed everything that is based in food. It's kind of circular, but the point is you can't ignore that instinct to make glucose, the life food, the fuel of every teeny tiny cell in your body. You can't ignore that need to go that direction. But if you overdo it and you, you just consume and consume and consume beyond what your body needs, then the goal of your body is to keep that fat alive. That fat tissue is above the rest of you, because you have somehow put more energy into fattening up than life itself. You've put more energy into consumption than production. And what does your body do? Shut the door. If you're not going to produce, we're going to consume you. So that fat, again, gets greedy, and it takes, takes whew, seven thousand miles of blood vessels just to keep one pound of fat alive and you keep all the fat alive except when your cardiologist tells you to get on a beta blocker because your body isn't hypertensive 
because it was missing the beta blocker. It's hypertensive because all of that fat demands blood and the blood can only get there by pressure. So when you lower that pressure, you don't make your heart happy. You just get your fat dissatisfied. And unfortunately, the main satisfier of people who are dissatisfied and obese is food. It is a replacement to the enrichment of a life that is satisfying. And on this meatless, eatless, mental mushroom Monday, I'm going to let that blow up in your brain and let you understand that there's more to it than mortality. There's more to it than trying to just be the peak of health for no reason. There's everything to do with your duty, not just to me or to you or to your family, but to every cell in your body. It wants to live. Every cell accepted mitochondria into it with the express purpose of creating life. Don't choke your heart out. Don't overdo it with exsanguinating drugs. Give your blood and your life to those that give it back. Not things that take and take and take and take until you're in the ground brown. Just like your butthole wanted. Poop. Once satisfied. Never satisfied. Love you guys.